So what had happened was it had been quite a number of years since I'd had my own painting practice. I'd been painting in order to work on a commission, but not, there are a few seats I'm fine with people scooping around and getting a seat. Um, it had been a while since I had just made something that wasn't with the project in mind, that wasn't with a specific population in mind and that kind of thing. And I went into my drawing painting studio one day and I had strips of paper that another artist had given me when she left Portland where I lived to move up to Seattle. She was like, here's some nice drawing paper if you wanted and I'll bring it with me. And I went in there and my studio was like covered in dust practically an old warehouse building and it just kind of leeches, you know, stuff from the ceiling. And, I, and I've been in there a few times before and cleaned everything up and then, like, you know, you spent your time cleaning up and then I hadn't been back because something would come up. So I was like, this time, just clean two tables, leave everything else. You're going away for a month. In a few months, when you come back, you can clean. Just clean two tables and I tore the paper. <laughs> <coughs> and I sat down and I made a dot, and basically I started to make other dots. And I, I made a little stack of paper, and I said, um, each time I would kind of, as I'd make a drawing, I'd say to myself, I gave myself the limitation, sit here, for whatever you do while you sit here, that's what you've done. Don't evaluate it, don't judge it, that's the same thing, I guess, but no, they're different. Judge is kind of like, uh, evaluates like, you know, analyze. Like, I was like, just sit here, whether you have 45 minutes, two hours, three hours, whatever it is, just sit here, no judgment. And I would sometimes say like a little mantra to myself. The first one was like, I am here. With every dot, I am here. Like, I was trying to bring myself back into the studio, back into myself to make work because it had been quite a while that I'd done something, you know, kind of that just generated for myself without any other relationship. So I started doing it, and I really like, as you might know, those variations on a theme. So I, one, begot the next, begot the next, I was really having a good time. And then I got to this point where I was like, well, when do I know if I'm done? You know? And I was like, I don't know, I don't want to think about that because it's much more fun, you know, like I like this. So I was like, okay, in Buddhism, which is something I've been paying attention to for about five years now, an important number is 108. Numerically, it's said to perhaps just uh, mathematically describe a circle. There's one interpretation that the Buddha was reborn 108 times before he became Shakyamuni. Buddha, became, you know, became the Buddha, and it was a convenient, it's the code to somewhere I go. It was a convenient number. I was like, 108, that's out there. Okay, I can keep going. So I said, you're going to make 108 of these drawings. That way, when I had 30, I could postpone my evaluation and keep enjoying the exploration. So I now have over 108. And um, in the process, it changes, you know, every day when I, it, first it, they, they were daily drawings, as in I sat down and I finished it, and then I started to put a ground on it, which is a painter's term for a lower level. So I, let's say I painted the watercolor bottom, it would have to dry. So that kind of naturally led to me having at least another day's visit with that drawing, right, because it had to dry. So it wasn't quite as much as like you sit here and you finish it right now, but it was still, I'd say very genuine. And um, this started in April a year ago, and other things have happened in between. But the drawings change, but they, they come back to some of the same themes. And I don't like to tell you, you know, everything you're supposed to think about, but I could look at a few. So. <clears throat> There's one that's all black with white dots in the middle on that wall. And when I started that, I had no, I, I had just made black paper because I've been working on a, lot, on a lot of white, so I was like, I'll paint my paper black. And why a limited palette? Um, because I had started by picking up from these large drawings, and they have this limited palette. 
but I want to keep it small and kind of less of a commitment as a starting point. And if you look on my website at my other work, I use a lot of colors. I mean, this is very, um, what we call low chroma, but I also use lots of color, but not, not for this. I kind of like the limitations.